independent media service covering news topics. I'm a cunt, just for a little, little bit of nonsense. Just a quickie for our English followers. Here's the state of the petrol crises in Northern Ireland. This is a typical average station. The station is usually very busy. It's always got that amount of people at the pumps. Oops. So it's a Sunday. Everybody's home off work. Well, vast majority. And that would be the very time for them all to panic and rush out to the filling stations and top up. I currently have got just over a quarter of a tank. And let's see what the next little filling station just on this very busy main road is like. And here we go. Already you can see the massive queue outside of this very busy, busy, busy filling station. See that? See the queues? So we're just coming into another little village. Bally Robert. And we'll be driving past Bally Robert filling station. And let's see the queue there. Now everybody will be ranting and raving, oh it's because of the protocol, because you're still in the free market, etc. Nonsense. It's nothing to do with that. <laughs> the same as, I only seem to hear about queues at filling stations in England. I don't seem to hear about queues in Wales or Scotland on the news. Is it maybe because the people there are more sensible and they're not panicking? Could be, but here we go. Oh, I seem to have gone over my speed limit solo. Three people at the pumps, no cues. <laughs> Everything seems to be reasonable here. We're heading to Green Island for the next filling station, which is also usually very, very busy. So I'll be there in a few ticks and see what it's like. Take a little detour down to the Monkstown filling station. Down past where Mammy lives for many, many years. Yes, yeah, so it's looking a lot better now. So, we'll swing around. Oh, and the Banks of Health Institute, amazing. We'll just swing around in the film station. I know it's difficult to just use the film station to turn around in because there's so many people queued up. There's the famous Andy Stores. So, Andy Stores, I used to play in there as a wee lad, because the uncle owned that building and it was actually the uncle who originally built this filling station, but we're going back 55 years or so. That's just a little bit of family history. My people are from this end of the world, have been forever and ever, Jordanstown and Monkstown and Ballyclare. Driving along here, all these houses on the right, that was built on the uncle's land, which was right down to Monkstown. Virtually down to Jennings Park. Jennings Park was actually called after Old Ma Jennings, Granny Jennings, who had the farm behind it over the railway, and it was her land. Just a little bit of nonsense while we're driving along. 